Sports Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, after our coldest start to April in 20 years, we warmed up a little bit today, but we're not where we should be. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Our normal high is now 48. We were about 10 degrees below that this afternoon. Tomorrow we can expect it to warm up into the lower 40s. It looks like lower 50s by Thursday. That's actually above normal for this time of year. But then once again, cooler conditions will return as we move into the weekend and beyond. Right now we are looking at mid to upper 30s across northeast Wisconsin. Most spots today running once again about 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. 35 degrees right now in Oconto. We've got 36 in Manitowoc. It is 36 in Oshkosh and it's 37 degrees in Fond du Lac. In Appleton, it is 36 degrees right now. Winds are gusting up to around 20 miles per hour, so it feels cooler with the wind chill. In Green Bay, it's a little bit warmer, 38, mostly sunny skies. Winds are gusting up over 20 miles per hour, so once again, that wind chill factor is making it feel colder. The satellite picture this evening shows mostly sunny skies across the Badger State. High pressure is our main weather maker, and this will continue to control our weather here right through tomorrow. Now, initially, this system cool us down. Yesterday was cold, today was chilly, but on the back side of it with a southerly wind flow, it is starting to warm back up. Temperatures this afternoon running 5, 10, 15, almost 20 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday afternoon. And that warming trend is going to be shifting east here the next couple of days. The high temperature today in Green Bay was 38. It was 37 in the Twin Cities, but you can see upper 40s and some 50s here across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. And that warmer weather is on the move. So tomorrow, most spots will be running about 3 to 5 degrees warmer than what we saw this afternoon. 42 degrees in Loomis. Look for 39 in Clarks Mills, right around 41 in Darboy. 44 is the expected high in rural. Precision cash shows clear skies throughout the night. Lots of sunshine tomorrow morning, and we will see sunny skies throughout the entire day as high pressure moves directly overhead. As that happens, we're going to be watching a warm front move in from the north and west tomorrow evening. That warm front will move through on Thursday with milder temperatures and the chance for just a couple of showers. So tonight, clear skies. Overnight lows will be near 20. Tomorrow, sunny skies, less wind but still cool. Look for a high in the lower 40s. On Thursday, clouds mixing with some sunshine, maybe a shower, warming up. Lower 50s, mid 40s on Friday, a good chance for rain or maybe a mixture on Saturday with windy conditions. High temperatures will be in the lower 40s and then lower to mid 40s for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week. By that time, our normal high temperature is all the way up to 50 degrees. All right, my three degree, <coughs> excuse me, guarantee for tomorrow is 42 degrees. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to loaves and fishes in Appleton. And we did that today. I forecast a high of 39 and the actual high was 38 degrees. Wow, look at that. We have a new graphic. I love the thermometer look. A new graphic with a new partner. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about that new three degree guarantee partner. Well, we're teaming up with Loaves and Fishes in Appleton to help local families. We raised $5,600 for Peter's Pantry in Manitowoc. And now we're hoping to do the same for this organization in Appleton. And I was out there to check out the place just a little while ago. Lorraine Neamey volunteers at Loaves and Fishes in Appleton twice a week. Hi there, how are you? And finds volunteering here to be very rewarding. I get back more than I can give. And loves being part of an organization that's constantly making people smile. People come in kind of, you're tired and worn out, and when they leave, they look happy and energized. Loaves and Fishes serves over 100 people twice a week. And is the only evening meal program in the area. And it helps stretch their food budget by having this meal. The organization offers a meal to anyone who needs it. Our door is open to everyone. We have no qualifications. Founder Carol Burns says offering cooked meals gives food to people who can't use the food pantry. But if you're homeless, you have no place to cook those canned goods. You know, you have no place to store the food that's available in the city. So having an evening meal is very rewarding for them and for us as well. The demand for meals has been growing so much that Loaves and Fishes wants to open for a third night next year. Um, I've talked to them individually and said, you know, do, do you really need another day of service? And they all say yes, that they would come. This program wouldn't be possible without Burns leadership, more than 400 volunteers like Nimi, and donations from the community. 
And so once again, every time I predict the high temperature within three degrees of the actual temperature, we will donate $100 to loaves and fishes of the Fox Valley. Yeah, we're going to watch that total just rack up because I hope so. you're right almost all the time, Cameron. <laughs> well, coming up tonight on NBC26,